April the 18th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at an article this afternoon that uh, has a lot to do with a video I did a few videos back. And I talked about a drought and famine and starting out on the West Coast. And I want to read this because it has implications far and wide. But it says, the Western U.S. states prepare for first ever water shortage declaration. Hoover Dam hydroelectric generation at risk. Guys, that's Arizona, New Mexico, a couple other places. A large part of the electricity there. And the water shortage is going to cut back on not only water uh, and power, but uh, all the crops, the fields in that area. So that's going to uh, end up contributing to the famine. It says, as the man-made lakes which store water for millions of people in the western U.S., are projected to shrink to historic lows in the coming months. State officials prepare for what could trigger the first ever federally declared water shortage, which would prompt cutbacks in water usage in Arizona and Nevada. Now, it will be the first time it's been done federally, and we are under a new federal uh, government. But think about that uh, first ever declared water shortage, Arizona and Nevada. And guys, Arizona's got some huge... Uh, population places in it all and you know you've got uh, agriculture you've got the just the population of the phoenix area alone and the amount of water that is uh used there needed but uh, you're looking at a picture of the hoover dam and that's one of the areas that will be affected it's saying according to the ap the u.s bureau of reclamation's 24-month projections released this week forecasts that less water would flow from the rocky mountains through lake powell Lake Mead into the southwest desert regions to in, ends up in the Gulf of California. The two lakes are expected to suffer from water shortages that could threaten the supply of the Colorado River, which farms and uh, sprawling cities rely on. Lake Mead is projected to fall below 1,075 feet for the first time this coming June. Guys, that's just uh, about six weeks away. The level which will trigger the shortage declaration under agreements negotiated by seven states which are reliant on Colorado River water is Arizona. Think of the population there, California. Unbelievable amount of people. Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. That said, the April projections won't have any material effect unless conditions fail to improve in which case the Bureau of Reclamation will declare a level one shortage condition resulting in cuts that would take effect next January. Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico have voluntarily given up water under a drought contingency plan for the river signed in 2019. A shortage declaration would subject the two U.S. states to their first mandatory reductions. Both rely on the Colorado River for more than any other water source and Arizona stands to lose roughly one-third of its supply. Water agency officials say they are confident that preparation measurements, I mean measures including conservation and seeking out alternative sources will allow them to withstand cuts if the drought lingers as expected. The study, while significant, is not a surprise. It reflects the impacts of the dry and warm conditions across the Colorado River basins this year, as well as the effects of prolonged drought that has impacted the Colorado uh, River supply. Now, guys, think about it as the population has increased across the southwest. That is an impact. It says... Uh, Arizona officials from the State Department of Water Resources in the Central Arizona Project. This came out in a joint statement. In Nevada, special straws have been constructed to draw water from further down Lake Mead. If levels fall in the state has created a credit system where it can bank recycled water back into the reservoir, recycled water, without having it count towards its allocation, according to the report. Southern Nevada Water. Uh, Director of Water Resources Colby Pellegrino told customers recently that those preparation measures would insulate them from any cuts, but warned that more action is needed. It is incumbent upon all users of the Colorado River to find ways to conserve, she said in a statement. Guys, the Colorado River is not that big of a river. I mean, you know, we've got the Mississippi River over here, and it's big, but the Colorado River is not that big. 
and you i mean it's just hard to comprehend but again you're going to recycle wastewater back into your reservoirs lake mead water levels are projected in the bureau of reclamation report to drop to the point where lit electricity generation at the hoover dam could be compromised as the hydropower plant serves millions of customers arizona california nevada now they continue it says to prepare for a future with less water the bureau has spent 10 years replacing parts of five of the dam's 17 turbines that rotate to generate power Lynn Schilling, a dam man, uh, manager with the Bureau, said the addition of wide head turbines allow the dam to operate more efficiently at lower water levels. He said the turbines will be able to generate power almost to a point uh, called dead pool where, they won't be an, where there won't be enough water for the dam to function. As in any type changing, and now a lot of people talk about man-made climate change or whatever. We're in grand solar minimum, and there are effects and the radiation is increasing on this planet. If you don't believe me, you haven't been out in the hot sun. We've been talking about this for about four years now. And that has an effect on evaporation. He said, uh, Schilling continues, said less water moving through the Hoover Dam again means less hydropower to go around. As the elevation declines at the lake, then our ability to produce power declines as well because we have less water pushing the turbines of course now scientists have begun using the term mega drought to describe the multi-year drought that has been plaguing the western half of the country and now we're being told that it looks like 2021 will be the worst year of this mega drought so far by a wide margin drought leads to famine that is extremely troubling news because major water reservoirs have already dropped to dangerously low levels. Some farmers have been told that they will not be allowed to use any water at all this year. Again, new federal policies under a new federal government. And the dust storms in the western U.S. are becoming so large it can actually be seen from space. I've seen those images. This is a major national crisis and is only going to get worse. Um, guys, a message like this, if you're not prepared, you haven't been prepping, make sure that you put that on the back of your mind because if they shut the water off, the hydropower goes down, the farmers can't uh, plant and can't grow food. Things are going to go downhill very quickly. And for about 12 years now on YouTube, I've talked about when this thing hits, regardless of the cause, there will be a tsunami of chaos. And you're going to have to be able to withstand that tsunami as that rush of chaos comes across the nation and then survive as that goes back out. A lot of people won't make that. Now, guys, this is the latest U.S. drought monitor map. And you can see in the darker red areas how much of the nation. I mean, it goes from dark red to red to orange to tan to yellow. But look at uh, almost half the nation is... Uh, suffering under these conditions it says nearly the entire western half of the nation is experiencing some level of drought at this moment but even more alarming is the fact that much of that territory is, is currently in one of the three most serious levels of drought you know there's been a conflict over that land for a few years and we've seen it here on the internet in many places that conflict a year ago, about 4% of the West was in severe drought. Now, about 58% of the West is classified as being in severe, extreme, or exceptional drought. Now, you'll be able to tell by the lake levels on how accurate the reporting is. As conditions just get drier and drier, many farmers have become deeply concerned about what uh, that will mean for growing season in 2021. It goes on to say New Mexico is right in the heart of the second Dust Bowl. Guys, this, this is moving into West Texas. Uh, I saw a news report the other day. I think it was somewhere around Lubbock. And um, one of the weather forecasters there in the local uh, TV station was saying he can't. That was the first time he's had a dust storm warning, like a tornado warning out. And you could see it from space about a week or two ago. The Rio Grande is expected to be an ex 
uh, extreme drought this year, creating tough conditions for local farmers and putting New Mexico's beloved Chile in danger. It's going to be a tough year because we are out of water, said Glenn Duggins, a Chile farmer out in Socorro County. When he says that they are out of water, he is not exaggerating. It is only early April, and the largest reservoir in the entire state stands at less than 11% capacity. Guys, that should wake you up. It hasn't got hot yet. According to Lincoln County Power District General, General Manager Dave Luttrell, a combination of infrastructure updates, less hydropower from Hoover Dam, and power generated from other sources such as natural gas has raised costs and alarmed customers in the rural Nevada district he represents. Remember, this is going to go all the way up to Utah. Rural economies in Arizona and Nevada live and die by the hydropower that is produced at Hoover Dam. It might not be a big deal to Nevada Energy, said Luttrell, of Nevada's largest utility. It, it might be a decimal point to Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, but for Lincoln County, it adds huge impacts, and it will in many places. We're just going to have to see, folks, you want to hope and pray for late uh, high elevation snow and a lot more rain. But again, populations are shifting, you know, folks are moving from out of the east and out of the west, more to the central U.S. That, we just don't know how that's going to impact the changes, but we do know that Grand Solar Minimum in the past has made it, uh, the climate extremely hard to deal with, and it has caused mass migration, and it may be coming to that. We are in troubling times, my friend, both from the political level and from the warnings we had in the Bible about drought and famine. There's troubles around the world. Get prepared. Think about it. There are other things that you really need to concentrate on now. If you're in some of these areas, look at your options. If you're a farmer in that area, then... Uh, Look at your options. That's all I can tell you right now because there's really no other plans in place. Uh, maybe more water storage could have helped in the past, but infrastructure has been neglected for the last several decades. But guys, I just wanted to mention this because I talked about it just a couple of videos ago. And I want you to be prepared. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.